Here's the uh, setup I have on the bench to check out the airbag unit. So I've um, retrieved the plugs and sort of tail wires um, out of the bin <laughs> in my garage and uh, plugged them back in. Now all I've done is I've applied power and I wasn't sure about the voltage because it isn't fed directly out of the fuse box. It's fed via the CAS unit. Um, so I've assumed a slight drop across the CAS unit. Uh, so I'm feeding it with about 10, just over 10 volts at the moment. And uh, so that's connected to the blue and, uh, sorry, um, violet and blue wire. So that's uh, my, um, yeah, I'm feeding that with about 10 volts, just over. I've obviously connected up the ground. Um, so uh, that's the brown and black wire coming out of the cash unit. And then I've got the um, K-CAN, which is green and orange and green, which we saw when I connected it up to the car. Um, so the other side of this, if you like. Uh, it's a bit temperamental, actually. I think it might be um, the driver on um, for Wireshark, but you can see here that the unit is throwing out messages. It's throwing out t uh, three types, um, three different CAN IDs, uh, 2FA, 481, and 581. Now... Uh, which one is it? It's the one that is 581, according to research I've done. Um, okay, let's see if we can find one of these things. Yeah, so apparently the 29 byte there indicates that the seatbelt light should be set on, and 28 indicates that it should be set off. Um, so if that's the case, all I need to do is generate this, this particular message um, with a 2.8 value in, in that position there. And that should extinguish the um, seatbelt light on the instrument cluster. That's the theory anyway. Now the challenge I'm having is that I can't figure out how the airbag indication works. So what I've been doing is I've been connecting um, a 4.7 ohm resistor across the um, airbag um, connections, which is what I was doing in the car when I knocked the um, airbag lights out. But as I, you know, I've, I've tried a few and as I connect it, I've checked to see if there's any change in the signals um, coming out of the um, airbag unit, this uh, control unit. And there are no changes. Now, the possibilities are that that's not the way it works, that actually the instrument cluster does poll for the um, information, so it, it sends a read operation or something. I don't think that's the case. I have a sneaking suspicion that all of the logic, just as it is with the seatbelts, all, all of the logic associated with the airbag indicator is in this unit. And actually, all it does is gives an either airbag uh, light should be on or airbag light should be off type indication, just as it's doing with the um, seatbelt. Because the seatbelt uh, rules that judge whether the seatbelt light should be on or off are, are quite complex in themselves. You know, it's to do with whether the seat's occupied, whether the seatbelt's buckle is pressed in, all those things. So I have a feeling that it could be that <laughs> the only way I'm going to prove this is I've got to put um, 4.7 ohm resistors across all of these airbag um, things. And hopefully that should show, you know, a change in the content of the messages that are coming out of the unit. The alternative is that I just write some code to generate these three message types and just fiddle with the values and see if any of them eventually switch off the um, airbag light. I don't know whether I'm keen on doing that considering I'm sending this into a live car and I do not want to mess the car up. 
So I think I'm going to have to do a bit more work with this control unit. Before I get too carried away with uh, creating um, the, you know, modifying the Raspberry Pi to do what I need it to do, I thought I should check the theory because um, I could mess around and create hardware and then find out the software doesn't do the job anyway. So what I've done is I've um, I've adapted some code that comes with the CoreLAN adapter. Um, they give you some sample Python code and I've modified it to specify my own message up here. Now that's the message that I actually saw coming out of the SRS unit uh, for CAN ID 581. So uh, very briefly, this is a really simple Mickey Mouse bit of code, but it sends that message uh, and then basically it loops around and just keeps sending it. Now I've got a timer down here of 10 seconds, which is the, it's a 10 second timer um, on the messages that I captured from the SRS unit, from the airbag unit. So uh, let's see what happens. So put some power on, uh, I'll switch the full ignition on. Okay, and now let's activate the... Uh, Activate the code and see what happens. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's gone out. That's brilliant. So just with that one simple message. Oh, it's come. Okay. Oh, it's gone out. Okay. So despite the fact that I saw it on a 10 second timer before, the instrument cluster seems to time out before my code does. So it keeps coming back on. So let me change the code slightly. Let's change the uh, timer to be a five second. Let's loop it every five seconds instead. Let's see what that does for us. Okay. All right. I think that's fixed it. Ah, no. So five seconds doesn't seem to be enough. That's weird. That's weird. Or is it because it needs to, it is coming back on? Hmm. Okay, well, the basic theory is there, but it's not very consistent. Um, I don't want it to keep coming on like that. Let's try something a bit mad. Well, not mad, but let's change it to one second. I'm wondering if um, this isn't the total answer. There are, were some other messages, actually, coming out of the SRS unit out of the airbag unit. Okay, so now it's sending them every second, yeah, and it's still coming up. Okay, so it seems as though this message is not enough. It needs to see other stuff as well. But it's part, it's getting there. So we'll, um, we'll push on and try and uh, work on this a bit more. Well, that hasn't fixed it. It's doing exactly the same as it was before. So I modified the code to send the three uh, frame um, types that I saw in my trace. Um, and I've changed it to send it exactly the same frequency as the um, the original, um, you know, as, as is coming out of the airbag unit. Um, so same timeout values, um, but it's still cycling round and turning it out and then it's coming back on. So I guess there's something else. Now, the one thing I did notice from the. Um, the one thing I did notice in the error codes, in the DTC codes that you get out of the control units is that it says instrument cluster unable to communicate with uh, the airbag unit as if it were sort of initiated by the instrument cluster. Obviously, all I'm doing with my code, with my little bit of uh, Python here, is I'm just generating these notifications of the status. So it could be that these, because these lights don't just come up because you've got an airbag problem or you've got um, not got you've got a seatbelt problem they also come up if you can't you know if that communication is broken 
So it could be that I've got, although I'm partially satisfying one part of the system, I'm not satisfying it completely. Um, now the tricky bit here is that for reasons that I haven't quite discovered yet, I can't run Wireshark at the same time as I'm running my Python scripts. It seems to be some sort of clash with the drivers. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. As short of me, oh, actually, I've got another PC. I have got another PC. I'll um, I'll cable up. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll cable this up into another PC, and then I should be able to. Uh, oh no, I haven't got another. I need another uh, USB to CAN adapter. Now there are some cheap ones available. Maybe I'll. I'll get one of those. The other thing I've debated doing to try and get to the bottom of this is to buy an instrument cluster from a breaker's yard. And I have found some for sale for as little as £10. Uh, I'll need a bit of cabling out the back, so I'll have to negotiate to get the for them to hack me off a bit of the uh, the plug and, you know, sort of cable tails for the back of the um, instrument cluster. If I had that, then I could actually wire it together with the SRS unit and or the airbag unit and see if I can see any other messages that may be related to this. <laughs> I'm getting dragged deeper into this, but I don't mind because this is not, you know, this is not critical. And, you know, if it takes me six months to do this, then it takes me six months. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. <laughs> 